And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield shipbuilding video. And today we have the Razorblade XL coming at you. And yes, if you want to find all the parts, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. It tells you what parts to buy, where to find them, and um, what levels you need to be, and what like, skill level that you need to have. But yeah, um, and you can find that once again, in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. And yes, we are working with a glitched ship build. And if you want to find a lot of video, a video guide on all the glitches that we like to use and show you more examples of how to use those glitches, you can also find that in a video linked in the description below as well. Now to this build. So um, this is kind of crazy. I, I set it up right now as more of a medium freighter build, but I mean, it has 80 mobility. It still has pretty good cargo. But if you want to go all out on cargo, you definitely can. But just FYI, we are currently maxed out on pieces, on module pieces. And one of the things that you may want to consider here is like I did this for aesthetic purposes because I wanted to make it look like these braking engines are this is what that's what's firing. <laughs> that's that's the idea I had for it. But but. Of course, it's inefficient when it comes to pieces and you need to use these equipment plates. So you could free up six additional modules by get re getting rid of these equipment plates and you could place these obliterator auto projectors on like the mount here. They could put four of them here and then you put another two on like this mount right here or even just spread them across over here. Totally up to you guys, totally up to you. But yeah, if you wanna add more, um, what's it called? Cargo, like you could just easily duplicate these and just merge them into the same spot. And uh, yeah, and if you feel like you need to make some more adjustments, you can you could possibly get rid of these cargo pieces here. These are like more an, an aesthetic piece. Um, yeah, make adjustments where you feel feel like you want to. But yes, let's start this up. Let's start this up. So we have this here, and what I'm gonna do is completely delete this side, so I can have some modules to work with. And this side is essentially the same as the other, with the only difference is going to be these guys. So I'm, I'm actually gonna, I'll move these guys out first. I'll move these guys out. So we have these pieces. Yeah, there we go. So I wanted to hide the alpha turrets here. And then I'm just going to delete all this stuff because the rest of this is essentially the same as the other side. And I can just duplicate the other side to fix, to set up this side as well. I mean, the only difference is it's probably going to be like the type of habs you use. So that is it. So yeah, we'll set that up later. Um, bring these guys out to the side. Double click this, pull it to the back, and let's start off with the first module, which is always going to be our ship bed landing, or our landing bay. I like to start with the landing bay. So ship bed landing bay to the front. Right behind that, we're going to bring over a Nova Galactic Almond Berth. And underneath that, we have a 100 DP Slim Docker right there. To the top, we have a Nova Galactic Armory. Yes. <laughs> I, was like, I was just double checking. Like, yes, this is the right place. And um, let's go ahead and move these guys directly to the sides of this. So it's going to be right here. All right, right here. Yeah, right, right there. <laughs> I was like, is it right there? I think it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. So we're gonna bring over the um, Nova Galactic cargo hall, right? And then on the other side, we have a Stroud cargo hall. These pieces can be purchased at, like this one's Stroud Eklund. You're going there anyway to pick up the, either the engines or the weapons, right? And the other side, you're going to have the Nova, Nova Galactic Cargo Hall. You're going over to um, New Homestead anyway because you need to get the landing gear, the NG-20 landing gear. So, yeah. And you can find that all in the details in the Google Sheet, the, um, the, part, the parts list. Yeah. All right. To the front of these cargo halls, you're going to bring over three shroud braking engines on each side. Bring it in. And then to the front of the front top of the Nova Galactic Hall, or both halls, we're going to bring over... An equipment plate with a Nova, or what is this called? Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors already attached. So yes, two sets of three on each side. Boom. Now we're going to bring over, we're going to start getting our first glitch ready. This is going to be 
the duplication glitch. So what you want to do for the duplication glitch is start setting up the appropriate um, location for this to duplicate into. So rules is one. You need to be able to duplicate the piece you want to merge down or merge with another item or clip another item. Two, for the standard duplication glitch, you need to have an open and available snapping point for it to snap to. So this one's free and open, so I want to move it down there. Perfect. And three, there is no three. You just need to do it. There you go. So I just hit Control-G on the keyboard. So Control, I have the option to undo, redo, and duplicate. If I hit G while holding Control, it duplicates down. Hit Enter or Space Bar to accept it. And there it is. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with Controller real quick. Controller. You're gonna select the piece, the Nova Weapon Map by tapping RB, tap Y to duplicate it down, tap A to accept it, tap LB to make sure everything is connected and everything is nice. So the next one, we have another variation of the duplication glitch. This one's gonna be um, the duplication buddy glitch or floating buddy glitch where we use a buddy, right, to help us glitch this piece down. So with any glitch, it likes to move to an open and available spot. But what you can do is use a floating set of modules to be your helper and you can use the floating to the open available spot on here to duplicate down so that's the reason why i have two here i wanted to block the open available snapping points up top so there's no option for it to go up first the only option for this guy to go down uh, the only option for this piece to go is down even though there's a closed spot here but there is an open spot right here so that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to use the open and available spot on my floating buddy modules right here. So I, I call this the buddy stack that you see. I call that the buddy stack. So I'm gonna hit control G and duplicate it down. So yeah, just, just note for your helper buddies, your floating buddies here, your floating modules, you want to have a snap point on both the top and bottom. Cool. So we're gonna do this with a controller as well. So take the controller. So yeah, well, okay, let me explain how I selected both. So I, I selected the Hope Tech Thruster by clicking on it, then, it, then I shi hit hold shift, click, and then drag over the other piece that you want to select. Make sure my cursor's over that, hit control G, and that's how it duplicated down. Now with the, the map, uh, now with the controller, this is called the controller. Select the mods you want to duplicate, and select your buddy. Tap Y to duplicate it down. Tap A to accept it. That's it. Tap LB to make sure everything's connected and everything is. Cool. Then uh, unselect. There you go. And then we can just delete our helper buddies here and our, our other helpers. Cool. So that is your set right there. And what I want to do next, I'll just take this piece. I can't, I can't bring it in over yet. Yeah, I can't. So I need to use the... The duplication glitch, not the duplication glitch, the um, the flip glitch, but this needs to have an available snap point for it to it first. But yeah, so we'll do that after we connect this other side. Next part I'm going to bring over is going to be the set of um, Nova cross passages. So I'm just selecting all those, bring it over. Perfect. And then these are going to stay there for a bit. I can bring over, well, I'll, I need to do that last. Yeah, I need to do that last. All right, or at least for this section. So we'll do that last for that section. Um, here, this is what I'll do. I'm gonna bring over the Hope Tech Control Station and the All-in-One Berth and just bring it over to the side right there. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, let me see. I need to move over some pieces. Give myself more work area. All right. I'm gonna bring over these, the control station all in berth, bring it over. So that's the correct position that it needs to be. And then I'm just gonna bring over this tail slope cap. And we're gonna use the flip glitch to flip this one in. So. Um, rules for the, for the flip glitch is one, you need to have the, um, the module already in your work area, all right? Two, you need to have a free and available snapping point for it to, to snap to you, even if it is going to be um, clipping some other additional modules. And then 
three, you need to be able to flip it. So I'm tapping Z to flip. So I can bring it over. Wait, what? Hey, how did how did this before? <laughs> it's like, wait a second. What? Oh, I know what I did now. Here, I need a I need to bring in a starter. So I needed to bring in a starter to do to set this up. Oh, that's so interesting. I didn't realize this. That's kind of crazy. So here we go. I'm gonna bring a starter. It's gonna be a Deimos wing. Oh, uh, Nova wing. So I need something to get um, get another module connected. So I'm gonna bring this over right here, like right here. Flip glitch it in. So yeah, <laughs> using the flip glitch again. So I flip flip. So I'm typing Z to flip it. I bring it in, see it's clipping something right now. I flip once, flip twice. Cancel the movement by tapping escape or um, or tab. So yeah, I'm tapping Z to flip it. And then, it's, then I cancel the movement by tapping escape or tab. All right, and that's how I use the flip glitch. I'm going to show you how to do it with controller. Since I'm, if I'm introducing a glitch, I'm going to show you how to do it on both keyboard and controller. And then I just stay on keyboard for the rest of the, the um, tutorial. So to flip the, the module, you need to tap Y. So I'm going to bring it over, tap Y once, tap uh, Y twice to go back to its original orientation that you want it to be, tap B to escape the movement, tap LB to make sure everything is connected and everything is. Now, for this guy, I had to bring over a Hope Tech nose, nose B. Bring it over, flip glitch that one in, perfect. Then remove the Nova wing, then you could bring this guy in, flip glitch that one in, and there it is. And now that it's in there, now it's sharing all these other snap points right there to, to work for it. Double click, everything's good, cool. So yeah, that's that's all you need to do. I'm gonna move this over to the other side, just get this one started. Um, flip glitch that one in, boom, bring over and hope tech knows. Flip glitch that one, boom, bring over or move this, bring over the tail, flip glitch that one in, boom. I can delete this now, that was just a little guide helper. I guess I can just move this back so I can build everything else. And yeah, I'm going to then take these other pieces, flip glitch, flip glitch these all in its current spots. Man, it's wild kind of figure out like what I did. <laughs> it's like, what did I do to make this work? All right, now we have all these pieces to work with here. Lots of pieces to work with. So I glitched the fuel, the reactor, the shield. <laughs> I, just, I glitched all that in there. All right, cool. So let's see. Um, let's bring over the shear flow reactor. I'm going to duplicate one of these up, and I'm also going to duplicate one of those on the bottom. Oh. Yeah, I guess I don't need to. I'll delete this. So what we need to do, I'm going to start setting this up. I'm going to bring over this piece first, glitch it down once, glitch it down twice. So it's using, so what it's using here, it's using its own snapping point as the piece to um, snap to as it moves down. Because this, this module, the, the shear flow reactor, it doesn't have a, um, top or bottom snapping point. So you could easily just glitch things that have a top and bottom snapping point on it. So you can duplicate it up from the bottom or down from the top. Doing the same thing with the um, 500HE3 tank. Duplicate it down, boom. Going to bring, and then I'm going to have this guy be my little um, buddy stack. Because we're also going to bring over the shield. Bring it over, click this. Shift click it down, or duplication buddy glitch it down. So now it's on top of the Nova Bracer there. Yep. Oh, I don't need to I don't need to delete that. Oh. 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 Wait, how did What? Oh, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> okay, it's in there anyway. Yeah, it's still in there. Cool. Let's bring over the Apollo grab drive. Now if you are going to add more cargo. In this build, 
you probably would need to upgrade the grab drive if you want to get that full at least 29 jump rage to cover the whole map. So I'm going to take this. So this one doesn't have a top or bottom snapping point. So there's there's another way to do this. No, there's there's no other way to do this. No, everything else is occupied. So I needed to use the duplication buddy glitch. Boom. And a boom. There we go. Everything's still connected. Everything is. Perfect. Okay, one more piece we need to duplicate down. It's going to be this guy. It's the Deimos Tail A and already has two BBO 300 auto alpha turrets already attached. Glitch it down once. Boom. Double click. Everything's good. Yeah, we good. We good. All right, to the front of this, we're going to bring over a Deimos Spine A and a Deimos Spine C. Boom. And then... So I purchased this at Stroud Eklund, so I cannot duplicate it here. So I'm just going to take these pieces and just put it into its current uh, position. There. So those pieces I can't duplicate. Or, uh, yeah. And then I'm just going to bring in the other Hope Technos Bs. Bring it to the front of it. So I wanted to make it look like this, like this set of, like... Cross passages are like, I mean, they look like, they look like they're touching each other a little bit. So I want to make it look like, oh, this is like, a, like this, this little, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Passageway is like, if I want to make it look like it's filling this whole zone, I guess, this, this whole little block. So that's, that's the reason why I, I went with the, um, these guys. And I didn't want to put, I didn't want to, um, merge anything in here I mean I typically I don't like to have uh, modules clip into areas that you need to walk through in the ship like inside so typically I wouldn't like I mean if there was if there's another piece I would think of it would probably be like I don't know another the the other cross passage from hope tech that could be a piece or it could be or it could be like even one of these guys it could be even one of those right that looks like it fits like that, that could be cool, but I, I don't want. Yeah, I I'm, I'm typically don't want something to um, be in an area where I walk. If it's a piece that kind of, kind of merges inside just a little bit, but it's not really obstructing anything else, then I, I might be okay with that. But for me, typically, I like I don't like to have things obstructing inside. But yeah, that's my spiel. So let's go on. Let's continue. On, let's keep on moving. Okay, so this is. This is a this is a funny one I did here. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay. So this is what I did. So first things first, I decided to move this guy right here. All right. Um, I'll do some buddies on my buddy stack. Just to make sure I just have two. And then, I mean, well, I can use the standard duplication glitch for this. So I'm gonna move this over right here both sides right there and then I'm just gonna use a standard duplication bit glitch because these guys do not have a top or bottom snapping point and there is some available snapping points like oops there's an available snapping point right here on both sides of this so yeah so this only has a front snapping point so this guy, the side snapping points on this guy are free. So I need to just do a standard duplication glitch to duplicate it up. And there it is. But I'm going to delete these two guys. And I'm going to keep this one here because this is an interesting thing. This is an interesting thing that I was able to do. Okay. So we have a porthole. And what I did was have this porthole on top of the equipment plate. And this attached a PBO 300 auto alpha auto alpha turret inside, and I and for me I don't like I have an issue with seeing turrets pointed to the sides right now. I don't like them. <laughs> I if I do use them, it's probably in rare cases if I have it visible and pointed to the sides. But I don't I don't like it visually right now. So th this is what I did. Um, so it's it's basically using the porthole on the bottom to st uh, to kind of sit on. And what I did was I, I currently set the place up right here. And I had it go underneath. If I could see it. Uh, there. 
All right, it's, it's attached. Cool. So I went ahead and deleted that. So it's right here. So it's aligned to glitch, or to, it's aligned to move up one spot into onto the bottom of the Galleon S204 cargo hold. So I'm going to take this equipment plate with the PBO 300 auto, auto alpha turret facing the side. And the reason why I have it facing the side all the way out here is because it actually has a bigger angle, bigger range when it's further away from the middle of the ship. So yeah, I'm going to bring this over, take it underneath, select all this. So I'm just, double, I'm just going to double click it, make sure everything's selected, and then duplicate it up. Boom. So now it's attached inside. It should be attached inside the uh, cargo hold. So yeah, that's how I merged it. So it's using, so now this porthole is sharing a mounting point with the Galleon S204 cargo hold and that equipment plate, which is now inside the cargo hold. And the, and the PBL 300 Alpha Auto turret is connected to the equipment plate. So yeah. That's how I made that work. Porthole. Underneath. Move this. Equipment plate. And again. Select all of that. Duplicate it up. Boom. And yeah, there we go. That is our middle section, everybody. Booyah! Alright, now let's go into this side. So I kinda already inferred to what was going on. We're going to move over the Hope Tech Control Station, all one berth and captain's quarters, go ahead and move all these pieces over. Make sure the um, Hope Tech All One Berth is connected to the Nova Cross Passage. I'm also gonna move over all of these landing gears right underneath, right here. Right? Right. Nova Calling 2L, move it over. Porthole and its aft orientation, attach it to the captain's quarters. Um, same thing here, Nova Kaling, bring all these other pieces. These are three Nova Bracers and two Hope Tech Pipes. On top of that we have a Damo Spine A, Damo Spine C, Damo Spine A. Move that over, boom. Then we're going to move over these two 200cm ballast shielded cargo pieces. Move it right there, right? <laughs> it was, was it right there? I think so. Um, and then we have this piece underneath. No, we had it right here. Huh. Huh. I need to line that in first. No, I didn't. Here, I'll do this. You can just flip this. Flip, flip, glitch. This in. So bring over this, the Viking CP100. Bring over the Nova Kaling. Flip, glitch that one in. Boom. On the top, we're going to bring over an equipment plate with a obliterator 250 MEV off, off alpha, alpha auto turret attached to that. Flip glitch in the Nova Kaling and boom. And then I'm going to do is select all this. I should have moved this in the last. You can select all this. All this. Yep, duplicate the whole thing, move it over to the other side. Oh, almost move it over to the side, then move over these two pieces first. Double click. Huh, how did I make, oh, I know how I made that work. Yeah, so select everything, move it over in place, boom. Yeah, there you go. So this is what we had to do. Um, we moved this piece off. We brought over another equipment plate with a obliterator 250 MEV Alpha auto turret attached right there. I glitched this one down. Oh, I'm already here. That's right. Um, I, can, I can move all this. I can move the top side. That's fine. Just move all this off. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm one, two, three, four. Because I need at least two of these guys. In a bit. I'll delete these guys. I'm gonna delete this guy too. 
I'll delete this guy. <laughs> I'll, de I'll delete. I'll delete all of you. Delete it. All right. So I need two of these guys to help me out. So I'll keep that here. All right. Standard duplication glitch. Boom. Delete that. Bring this piece over. Bring this down. Boom. Did I have? Did I have another piece in here? I couldn't have. But I know this piece was in there. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, so I'll just duplicate, duplicate this one down too. So this is what's holding this bottom piece with the rest of the ship. There. All right, bring this piece in. Duplicate these twice. I'll delete this for now. Bring this, copy this whole section along with a, yeah, pothole, porthole. <laughs> Call it a pot pothole. <laughs> All right, there you go. Hey, I have an error. What's up? Okay. I thought I connected to you. Yeah. Oh. What? Okay. What? What? Wait, what? It doesn't like it? Hold on. Hold on. Why do you not like this? You want to go up there? No. No. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not where you're supposed to. Wait, can I, can I duplicate? All right. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling. Hold on, though. Hold on. Hold on. But I don't need one. See, I don't need this. I technically don't need this. So let's see. So, all right. Let me play this. Let me play it by this order. Move this piece in first. Bring this one over. There. Move it out. Bring this one in. Boom. Bring this one back in. Flip glitch that one in. Everything should be connected. Everything is. Okay, cool. Let me just delete. Give me some space to work with. I shouldn't have to leave that one. This one piece. Yeah. Helper buddies. Buddy stack. There. There we go. There we go. Alright. How you like me now? Okay, cool. So that was it. That's everything. Oh, the cargo pieces. like it should have been oops wait I still hit it what where is the extra piece buddy it's like why do I feel like I was exactly where I should be wait where's the extra piece <laughs> I was like, where would, oh, I see you. Boom. Hey. Yeah, I think it was over here. All right, that's cool. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Um, What I feel like, oh yeah, I need to change this. So this was a science station or science lab. This was a workshop. And this was a living quarters. Hey, there we go. 
now I have everything back to where it was originally. Whew, that is your Razor Blade XL. XL. And of course, once again, like I said, you can make some modifications to add more cargo if you want to go that direction. Definitely need some ways to modify this so you can save up on some module pieces. Let's take a tour. So there are some elements in here. Oops. Make sure I have it selected. There it is. All right, there you go. Look at, man, it's huge. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it takes up, it takes up a lot of space. So it's, it has like the full width pretty much taken. It's pretty close to the full length as well. So anyway, so you go inside here. So this is the thought, this is the thought, this is the thought process I had when I did this design. So it kind of has like a little bit of role play thought into it as well. So definitely based on the cargo thought of it all, um, being a freighter. So the first thing I think you do is we go into a freighter, right? So you move in your freight. Of course, you have this. If you, if I had a choice to set up the ladder, it would be right here, <laughs> and I'd have these doors be more right. No, I can't be there. That's right. Oh yeah, it can be. It can be right here. So I I wish that I could put the doors here. And then this guy would go up over here, and maybe maybe I could play around the module with that. Maybe maybe it could be another another module that prefers that have ladder positioning elsewhere. But you know what? Let me see. I I kind of put this here. Will this will this will this change? Let's find out. Hold on. One moment, please. If this works to just change the position, I wonder if it it also considered where I place a docker. We'll find, we're gonna figure this out together. I don't. I wonder if it placed made a decision based on where I placed the docker. So I know it doesn't happen on other ships sometimes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Alright, try one more thing. <laughs> I want to try. I want to try more thing. I, I mean, I used the. I used the all-in-one hab B version. Let's see if the A version makes a difference. Oops. Oops. Okay, 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 okay. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Come on, come on. No. But it did change. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, so that's a thought. Maybe I'll play around with the modules here to see if I can get that alignment the way I would like it to be. But today, no. Not gonna happen. Alright, but the, the whole idea is that I wanted to um, set it up so that you have, you go in, and then you're able to role play the fact, hey, this is a cargo ship. First, the first thing you want to do is you have, want to have access to these cargo halls that you have on each side. So you basically, I'm bringing, bringing in a bunch of gear. All right, I'm bringing in a bunch of gear. Of course, we have this ladder obstacle in the way. Wait, what? What can I help you with? Wait, what? <laughs> wait a second. 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 It did it? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> how, did it, how did it choose that? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One minute. One or one second. One second. One second. One second.
Don't be a jerk. Shipbuilder. Okay, you know, that's, that's a little bit better. I mean, still, I wish these doors were over here. <laughs> but hey, you know what? At least I know I can easily bring in cargo and then move to the side. So we have the Stroud Eklund side over here, and then we have the Nova Galactic side over here. So this is what I thought. This, this, this is my thinking about it, right? So this is where like the cargo uh, workers like really congregate and stay, sleep or whatever, do their um, I don't know, eat eat their food. With a, with a, what, just a microwave? That's all they have? Uh, yeah, so that's that's how they deal. Is there anything else down here? No. Okay. So yeah, they got their, their sleeping areas, the rest areas. Um, maybe they want a buck bed, maybe. That's, that might be better for them, but oh well. They have their lockers here too, so they want to change in and out anything. And this is the Nova Galactic Cargo Hall, and they have like more of the organization stuff right here. Like, hey, let's go ahead and catalog this cargo piece in here. That's that's right to do. And then they have this area that they start cataloging. They have more work areas, more lockers. Um, but yeah, so there's like the sorting side of the cargo hall. Right? And then when we go into the Stroud Eklund side, it's like, all right, it's all organized and we just leave it here. That's it. So everything's nicely put together. They're cataloged. Everything's set. So that's, this is the side that does that. All right? All right. And then, the first thing, the first thing you go into right here is, oh, really? No, no, yeah, this is it. So this is the armory. The armory is right here, right back here. So this is like, all right, before anyone gets into the main sections of the ship, like the, the, the work wing or the, um, I guess, the, the flying wing, <laughs> operation wing. So yeah. So you have the armory here, so that way it's like, all right, cool. Like this is going to be defending, so this is our main point of defense. If anyone or anything weird comes out of the cargo hall, at least there's like a defense point right here. Nice little defense point. And maybe that's maybe that could have been a good reason why I have the ladder come up here. Like you can actually like barricade this this place up or something, and then like you could just fire from here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's check out the work area. This here we have. The, uh, we have a work station. Hey, hey, did you have you ever noticed this? Oh, yeah, Andres is right here, right? Have you noticed this? Go, it like flips her little skirt right here. Just look, boom. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> anyway. so here you go. You got the workbench or workstation, workshop. <laughs> the workshop. It's called the workshop. Yeah. Here's the science lab. So this, this like everyone's working. Everyone's doing their thing, I guess. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too, Sam. I see you're just you're not doing anything. You're just watching. What can I do for you? Work. Do what Andres is doing. She's working. And here's the living quarters here. Living quarters. Got a place to. Uh. Uh. You know, work off some steam. Nice little view at the back. If you want to relax too. But pump some pull-ups in here, and have nice some got some nice beds. Yeah, total work area, total work area. And go to the other side. And this is the all I want to have for the um, hope for Hope Town. So as we go into first, let's move into the other side. Some more. More beds to relax. We have the captain's quarters here. The captain has a nice view of the back. And then, and then, you have your control station up to the front. Yes. Yes. It's like, no! And that is your tour, everybody. You made it. You made it. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Let's go ahead and bring up our battle fun music and don't forget you can find all the parts you use in this build found in the google sheet which is listed in the description below and of course if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as everything does help out look at this massive thing it's huge oh 
right, everybody. Yeah. Let's make sure our power is allocated correctly. Yeah, there you go. Let's take this bad boy to crits. Do I need to rest first? No, no, we're going for it. We're going for it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I reset this thing or not. <laughs> we're, we're here. We're already here. Let's just go. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I forgot to put more power back to my weapons. Oops. Oh, I'm very good. Hey! Alright, let's take this bad boy to serpent this. I, 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 this, is, this game has just been updated. I am using the 100 FOV on the, the ship. So, cool. That's cool. Getting bigger, bigger, bigger range of view. Field of vision. <laughs> range of view. You mean field of vision, what FEV, FOV stands for? It's like, exactly. Exactly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! Ah! No hostile activity. Huh. <laughs> it's like a, that's upsetting. Show yourselves. <laughs> I like that. It's like, huh. I'm out of energy on my main weapon. Let's go ahead and let my turrets take the take on the the rest of this uh, battle. One more set, and we call it a video. No show? We have a no show? This is offensive. <laughs> and that, my friends, is your Razorblade XL being extra large. Hey. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. And yes, you can also find all the parts that we use in this build, where to find them, what level you need to be, what skills you need to have, found in this Google Sheet, which is linked 
in the description below. 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 Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace. And sending on the hearts as well, everybody. Thank you so much for all love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.